I've got a bad idea. Unholy guacamole. Here's how this works. I come up with a bad idea, I make a plan of action but don't test or taste any recipes, and then I make it and try it for the first time on camera. So my last couple of experiments turned out to be good or semi-good ideas, so I'm taking measures to prevent that from happening again. Let's start with an avocado, which is a fruit made from mushing. This one seems to be a little bit less ripe than I thought, but we'll have to work with it. And I don't like to do that grid line thing, it just seems unnecessary. I just scoop out with a spoon. And this does not seem to be working. It's just too firm. I guess I'm just going to have to peel it and mash harder when it comes time. Peeling this is taking longer than making most guacamoles would. And I cut myself on the f***ing avocado. So, since this won't likely mush well, I need another fruit that's good for mushing. How about this overly ripe banana that's already drawing flies? Yeah, this is what you call banana bread ready. And now a little salsa. This has roasted red peppers, jalapenos, and pineapple. Better here than on a pizza. I haven't added any salt, so let's just go ahead and add some liquid salt, aka soy sauce. Grind some garlic, and a little bit of black pepper for a little flavor. And a little squeeze of lime, as is tradition. You know, this has a lot of fruit in it. It's almost a dessert. So why not some chocolate syrup? Now I've got my masher, which can also be used for mushing. You know, even putting my whole body into this, the avocado refuses to be mushed. So I just pulled it out, chopped it up, and put it back in. So there we go. It looks as terrible as I imagine it tastes. This pleases me. Uh, thanks. Um, God. He's gone! Uh, let's eat. Okay, since I apparently decided to use the least ripe avocado that was in the grocery store, this is going to be more like a, a soupy kind of thing with chunks of avocado in it. I'm really going to have to put my molars to use, apparently. It, um, well, you saw it. Ooh, whew, it does have a stank to it. Definitely a stank. I got some uh, blue corn tortilla chips. Yeah, just eat one. Just because I haven't eaten much today. And, uh... I'm going to delay the inevitable. Here, I'll go ahead and get a fresh one. Nice little isosceles triangle. Alright. Smells like that kind of red banana sauce sometimes you see in the, uh, the Asian markets. I don't know what that is. Oh, gosh. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's terrible. Don't do it. Definitely a bad idea. Thank God. I've been having good ideas. I'm going to eat some more of this chip. My goal with these is not to make myself throw up, but just to try to, you know, if that happens, it happens. It's only happened once so far. I'm going to... For the sake of, you know, experimentation and science and such, I am going to get one more little scoop here. Now you want, it's hard to chew this, this avocado. I have some of it in my mustache already, I know. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. Definitely bad. No, I can't. I can't even. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Well, lesson learned. A. Don't make this guacamole, and even if you do, get a get an avocado that's ripe. That's very ripe. Like, 
like almost gushing. Because this one felt soft, but it wasn't. It wasn't right. So nasty. The things I do to myself for you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Or dislike, that's fine with me too. It's, it's still attention, that's what I crave. You can also watch all the old Bad Idea Kitchens here. And if you click over here, you can watch a taste test video.